That's Michael Lamar and my sister Lori eating ice cream on the steps to my patio. It's easy to identify the Lamar children. They're the ones with the red hair. I remember that little yellow vinyl pool. Who could think that such a small pool could offer so much fun for such a large number of kids? That's Joe Lamar with my brother Scott playing baseball. The only thing I need is you so baby and Lori getting into the swing of it as well. That's Mr. Werner and his sons, Herb and Ron, by the pool that was in our backyard. I recall only a few winters with heavy snow, and this must have been one of them. When we did have snow, we had fun, and lots of it. That's Debbie Johnson in the red coat, sitting on her stoop in front of her house. That's the Johnson house behind my mother, Marilyn, as she walks with my sister Lori, me, and my brother Scott across the street. Looks like we're in our Easter clothes. That's Scott and Debbie Johnson having a grand time doing the twist. There's Scott and Lori showing early love for the Beatles. That's Diane Werner and Scott playing around in front of our house. You can see the Werner's white picket fence directly behind them, and even further in the background, the farm that eventually was developed into a Pathmark shopping center. Looks like Ronnie Werner and I joined in the fun. That's Mr. Joe Johnson pulling into his driveway. A bicycle was a primary form of travel back then for us. That's Debbie Johnson again and me in front of my house. There's my brother Scott tearing down the street on his bike. That's my mom with Debbie Johnson, and I think with Herb Werner Jr. <laughs> That's me being goofy, running to my dad holding the camera while Mr. Johnson works on his landscaping. We used to call his landscape design Dots because his bushes were shaped like the candies of the same name. There's Debbie again. I think she's holding Barbara Werner's hand. Our swing set was very popular for a few years. That's Paul Lamar grabbing a swing. One of the things I remember most about the swing set was that the rear legs, which were once cemented in, had given way and were loose so that when we swung forward high in the air, the legs would pull out and up, out of the ground, giving us the sense that the whole set was going to topple over. 
Despite that, we would swing as high as we could and then jump out as far as possible. That's me looking pretty snazzy in my red dress jacket, dancing with reckless abandon. It must have been Easter again. And my brother Scott, shaking his booty. Not sure who that is in front of the Johnson house on this snow-filled day. Could be me and Diane Bonagora, who was my best friend growing up at that age. Yeah, that's probably us, along with Diane's sisters, Lisa, Joan, or Dawn. Our backyard patio again. That's Scott, me, sister number two, Lynn. And Lori, can you guess the holiday? That's Nancy Lamar watching as I try to ride Lynn on my three-wheeler. Dad enjoyed barbecuing and we enjoyed roasting marshmallows afterward. That's Scott with his marshmallow and stick. Me? I'm already toasting mine. This was from one of my birthday parties. The whole neighborhood is there. That's Lori and Lynn getting ready for some Halloween trick-or-treating. Finally, the sign in front of our house. 